How to use Invoke AI and AppSense together to animate your videos. I want to explore how it works. In simple terms, this is how you do it. Shoot a clip of yourself in front of a green screen for the best results. Create any backdrop in AI to fit your scene. Edit one frame in Invoke AI to create the style and character you want. And set up AppSense to use that as a key to apply the style to all frames. And then you just put it together in the video editor. Easy. With this, you can create any scenes you can imagine. Let's explore some creative ideas. How about that signature EB Synth digital painting style that can really make your video pop? Or maybe a dark fantasy, becoming an orc like in the Lord of the Rings. I don't know why I did that voice. It's nothing like an orc. And then we could also jump into the future and become a virtual reality cyberpunk girl. What a time to be alive. Ibisense also works great when you want to camouflage yourself into the background and hide in the vegetation or turn into another material. Let's ask the AI. ChatGTP, what do you think about the AI synthesized creative process? AI has the potential to greatly assist in the creative process by generating unique ideas and providing new perspectives. However, ultimate creativity and decision-making still lies with the human user. We thank you, ChatGPT. As you can see, the distance from an idea to its visualization is becoming shorter. Maybe one day it happens in real time. Now, if you want to know more in detail how this works, I'll show you. So let's first shoot our short clip with a good lighting and sharp focus. Next, we'll take that clip to a video editor and key out the background like this. Then we select a good keyframe and export it to use as the key for AppSense. To install Invoke on your computer, I'll add the link in the description to the installation guide. Note, Stable Diffusion works best with RTX cards, so if you don't have one, Invoke AI will still work, but it's going to be a little slower. Once Invoke AI is running, let's upload the frame and give it a prompt. For ideas and examples for prompts, you can go to prompthero.com. Once finished, save the image, open Photoshop, set the image as a new layer on the original key, and use the boundaries of the original to cut out any excess for better results. Good trick to know. Now we are only missing a background, so let's create one in Invoke AI and save it. It's a good idea to keep the timeline as frames for eBusiness. So I'll rename our keyframe and place it in a folder named Key. Next, we need to export the PNGs from HitFilm Express. So let's change the in and out area and choose the PNG alpha preset and export the in and out area. Now we can open eBusiness and select the key Let's also move the PNGs to the project folder and name it PNG. This helps to remember what is where. Once selected, let's run eBSynth to do some magic. Back to the video editor, in my case, HitFilm Express, where we first set the background for a clip. Then we import the PNG image sequence to a new layer. To match them better together, we can use a great layer and add a nice LUT on it which is optional because you can do it also on TikTok or Instagram with filters. And there we have it. If you have any questions about the steps, how to do it, just write below and I'll answer or create another video tutorial. And here are some more ideas.